Good morning, students. Today we will be discussing about research methodology and bias statistics. Now, the word research means a uh, continual search for the truth. It is uh, very important and it plays a very vital role in the health sector as it will important to uh, for the promotion of oral health. That is, it important for the prevention as it important to know the prevalence and incidence of various diseases as it is. Uh, by research, we can uh, know various activities whether they are pertaining or it is suitable for your health or not. Uh, coming to the, there are various types of research also. First is a basic or applied research. Basic applied just we want to know the cause of disease. It can be used. Then there is empirical research. Then there is uh, research due to pertaining any activities. Uh, in the form of research, the presentation of data is very much uh, important. Uh, the presentation of data, the first type is a tabulation. It is simple device used for the presentation of statistical data. The principles are when the table uh, tabulation of uh, data is done, it should be very simple. It should be of appropriate size. The, if they are having a rows and column, it should be equally uh, maintained. There should be labeling of the table, there should be any variables are mentioned, it should be mentioned on the uh, uh, table. If the variables, uh, variables are not mentioned, that should be uh, also uh, men they, that should be also be mentioned. Uh, this is the types of table, this is a master table, Only uh, you can directly get uh, the data from the survey. You can see there is a gender, education, decade missing field, teeth and uh, plaque index records you can also be uh, recorded. This table is only used when you get the data from a survey. This simple table just elaborating that the number of name of student that is A got 21 marks. It's a simple table used to know the specific uh, to know the specific answer. Then there are frequency distribution tables uh, like uh, you want to know the number of children from the age 5 to 9 years. Uh, in a particular class or in a particular community, you can use this frequency distribution table. Then there are charts and diagrams, the most convincing and appealing uh, ways of uh, depicting the statistical data. Bar chart, first a simple bar chart, simple single uh, cylindrical shaped uh, bar is made. You can see uh, at the 5 to 9 years, there are 21 uh, cases of KDs, whereas in 15 to 19 years, there are 90 cases of caries. This is a simple bar chart. This is a multiple bar chart. Uh, you can see the can be this uh, simple bar chart will only represent only one variable. Multiple bar chart will represent two variables. You can see it is joint and with different colors we have to use so that it will be very appealing to the eye. Males and females ratio when compared, it has been shown in different bars. This is proportional bar chart. Uh, again, when we want to know the differences in the two proportions, uh, this proportional bar chart has been used. Pi uh, diagram chart, it is symbolizes the pi uh, and the pieces of the pi has been cut in. First quarter, you can see a uh, number of population. For example, if the population of 100 is there, uh, you can make it in a pi, uh, yellow, the color which is, you can see there are 25 or 12 of dental caries cases, uh, the remaining pi, uh, can you, you can show 20, 20 cases of gingivitis, uh, on orange you can show 30 or 40 cases of periodontitis and the remaining you can show the normal cases. This is a line diagram, useful to study the changes of values in the variable over time and it is simplest type of line diagram. You can see the caries prevalence can be increased with the as the line going upwards whereas the gingivitis that tells first it went to the high prevalence then it has been considerably decreased. Astrogram is a pictorial diagram of frequency distribution. There should be no space between the uh, cells of the histogram. You can see the caries prevalence according to the age or according to the frequency uh, this histogram can be used. Then there is a uh, Cartogram spot map or shaded map, it is used to know the geographical distribution or ge geographical distribution of the frequency. Then there is pictogram, the pictures are being uh, uh, exhibited here and uh, you can see the population per physician. This is an example of bike, how many of persons having bike, how many persons is having good oral hygiene. You can predict it by pictogram. 
then there is scattered line diagram it shows the relationship between two variables uh, in the right side diagram if the dots cluster around the straight line then it is called as linear relationship then comes the measure of central tendency or uh, that is it is the central value around which the other values are distributed it is arithmetic mean median and mode coming to arithmetic mean in simple words the middle value of the uh, any uh, tendency can be uh, recorded for example in the given if you want to know the mean of uh, children who are attending the dental school or has attended the clinic you can calculate the total 6 1 to 12 the mean value will be 6 formula is sigma xi upon where xi is the sum of the mean the median is the medial value uh, in distribution such that one half of the units in the distribution have equal small have a smaller than the for example if you are having 1 to 10 cases of dental caries from different age group so we have to uh, select the middle that is fifth and sixth in among 1 and 10 you have to add and then you have to divide it by 2 so that you can get the median value of that case Coming to the mode, mode is the value of series, there is a number of sequence or the value of any number in a sequence. In a example 1, there will be no mode as there is no repetition of any word. In example 2, the word number 3 has been repeated, so the mode value will be 3. Coming to normal uh, curve, normal distribution, when the data is collected from a very large population, people and the frequency distribution is to be made with narrow interval, it is called as normal curve. Standard normal curve, it is of well shape, perfectly symmetrical, the total area of the curve is 1, mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. Now coming to the statistical test, chi-square test used to test the significance between the proportion of more than 2 or uh, more, more than uh, 2 proportion. You can see in the diagram there are more than 2 proportions. Uh, by using the test, uh, the significance of each one can be known. For example, there are two groups. Uh, you want to know the uh, significance of mean in the that two groups. One is receiving your uh, uh, health, uh, oral health instruction. One group is not uh, receiving any oral health instruction. So what you will do, uh, you see the prevalence of dental caries for, and you will note how many the one who received the oral health instruction still having the dental caries, and the one who was not receive and not having the dental caries. The significance of the two proportion, uh, uh, the one who received the oral health instruction and the one who has not received the oral health instruction, the significance can be calculated using chi-square test. Uh, it was developed by Carl Pearson, so it is called as Pearson chi-square test also. Z-test is used to uh, test the significance in the difference of means of a large sample. The large sample should be large. Suppose there are 100 people who are receiving the instruction for a dental caries and you there are a group also. So to know the significance of their mean, uh, we will use the Z test. Coming to take test, as Z test is used for more than uh, uh, 30 population, the T test is used when there is a sample size of uh, less than 30. It is also called as student's T test. Uh, there are two types, uh, paired and unpaired. Paired is the when the population, uh, the mean has to be paired. This thing, this paired T test has been used. And in the population where single or individual value has to be known, then the unpaired T test is used. At this end, uh, there are few more uh, tests also that is ANOVA, analysis of variance. When there is, we want to know the mean between two or more or in fact many like four or six uh, thing uh, then the ANOVA is used. ANOVA is analysis of variation. Suppose you know you want to treat a particular disease for example you want to uh, test the effect of various drugs on uh, tuberculosis like drug A, drug B, drug C, drug D and after calculating and uh, after knowing the effects of uh, tuberculosis, uh, drug on the tuberculosis, we can use this test uh, ANOVA so that the one who has used a particular drug has the uh, greatest value. This end, I would like to end my lecture. Thank you.